that is why the greatest expression of your loyalty for God is not just in your service it's in your worship your worship your worship oh be lifted above all other gods we lay our crown and worship you you be lifted above all other gods we lay our crown and worship you oh glorious god we praise your name we lay our crown and worship many of you have no idea what happens in the kingdom of darkness when the saints worship a picture of the worship in heaven was given to us in revelations that when they said worthy is the lamb that was slain the bible says the elders will cast their crown and everybody bows before one king this is all satan wants transgenerational allegiance that is the reason why courses have been programmed across every family to make sure that there will always be a representation somebody who will represent worship and loyalty and allegiance to satan even to jesus he said bow and worship me it's not that i want to hold man i don't need man for anything i don't need his prosperity for anything ask people who are involved in cultism or involved in witchcraft or all kinds of things the only thing satan wants is anything that commits you and brings you to a point where he becomes god over your life he can give you all the prosperity he can give you whatever it is that is the reason why the moment you want to prosper without your loyalty to him he will fight you tooth and nail you want to make money without me he says i wish above all things that he prosper and be in health but make sure your soul prospers it is that soul part that satan does not want can i tell you i made up my mind i rather fail in ministry than worship the devil i rather fail you don't worship satan by worshiping satan you worship satan by worshiping anything that is not god satan is too smart to tell you worship me he will say worship money worship yourself worship your wife worship your husband worship your church worship your sermons and you do not know it's still idolatry worship your prayer life worship your fasting life even worship your bible study and while you are doing all of that you think i am worshiping god no anything that is not god even if it came from god is an idol so that you don't think i'm talking of going to the shrine to go and bow down satan is not stupid he has understood the world of men so he will tell you worship any other thing including yourself including your wife including your husband including ministry including money including your certificate by any means i allow you to worship any other thing provided it is not the god of heaven and can I tell you, day and night, there are people bowing down to Satan. But as they bow down to their certificates, they bow down to Satan. As they bow down to their ministry, every Sunday there are many idol worshippers who do not know they are idol worshippers. They would rather give up Jesus than give up church. They would rather give up anything. <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, can I tell you, if you ever believe, you ever believe that on your own without the pruning of the spirit you are worshiping god in spirit and the truth 